Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Multi Window Marketplace Freenet Shipping Plugin. And in today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you the workflow at the customer's end. And this particular shipping uh, plugin uh, can be used in the Brazil for the Brazilian postal codes. And uh, it works as per the admin and the seller configuration for the shipping extension itself. And apart from that, we will also be showing you how we can make the initial configuration settings and how the vendors can configure the same uh, there. So uh, let's get ahead. But before that, let me give you a small gist about the plugin itself. And uh, in a while, I'll just take you to the uh, demonstration of the same within the uh, live demo that we have. So uh, basically, this plugin would allow your customers to select multiple shipping carriers for Brazilian postal codes as per the admin and the seller configuration and with the help of these the sellers can find the best price of the freight price to optimize the logistic cost using this uh, plugin it's uh, possible to carry out a freight code based uh, on the parameters of the origin destination product dimensions weight and the total value of the shopping cart and uh, the order can even be tracked down easily with the help of the shipping uh, plugin so uh, this plugin can allow the store owner and the sellers both to manage the orders much efficiently with its services and uh, this would allow the customers to remain attached to the store as well so uh, let's go to the web store front end and let's see how the customers can make use of the same uh, for placing the orders uh, using this particular uh, shipping method so that uh, the selected shipping method uh, delivers their order at their home so for that let me take you to the uh, web store front end now also note that uh, the admin and the uh, sellers would need uh, uh, to have an account at the uh, frenet itself and uh, using that account they'll be able to uh, provide uh, various carriers that would then be displayed to the customers at the checkout time and then the customers can uh, make use of any of those uh, providers that the customer uh, uh, feels like best can choose and can then place his order using that particular shipping method so uh, let's get to the uh, front end now for the customer workflow so here I'm at the uh, Magento 2 multimedia marketplace web store right now at the front end and on the clothing category right now and uh, I'm not logged into my account so let me log into my account first and uh, thereafter I'll be adding a few products to the cart and then I'll be making the checkout and then we'll be seeing how we can choose the uh, shipping carriers there at the checkout time i'm on the login page and i'll be logging into my customer account by entering my email password and tapping on the login button thereafter so i've logged into my account and uh, the name is john doe so uh, let's add up few products into the cart and let me add this one this one and let's add this one and let's add this as well so I've uh, added around four products to my cart and for the uh, last t-shirt that I had uh, added we just need to specify the products for its different uh, types so here we'll set it as five for the red one and for the other variation we'll set it as uh, five and now let's tap on the add to cart button so uh, I've added the products into the cart and uh, now as a customer I can tap here to proceed to the checkout and uh, on the shipping at the checkout page here uh, the customer just needs to check his uh, address where he wants to get the order so be because it works uh, this particular shipping uh, plugin works for the Brazilian uh, postal codes only so we have chosen uh, as Sao Paulo Brazil and on the right hand side you can see the five items that are added into my cart along with the variation there phi quantity for red and uh, phi for gray and now here under the uh, shipping methods uh, you'll be able to see uh, that's the uh, friend shipping method that you can see here right now and you can see that we have the PAC carrier as well as the the ZX carrier uh, that can be chosen by the customer and uh, whichever uh, carry the customer wants to choose for the uh, frenet shipping he can choose that one up so we'll just choose the lower one that's for 127 dollars and uh, thereafter i'll just scroll down to the end 
and I'll be tapping here the next button so uh, basically for the frenet uh, shipping uh, only this uh, particular things come comes up uh, for the use uh, for the customers to choose the uh, shipping the other shipping methods that are not uh, associated with the frenet itself and not this one as well the delivery time slot but uh, for this demonstration I'd uh, chosen this uh, demo the live demo and it has this one as well so I'll just uh, presumably check some option for this one as well so we have chosen the pack method or the pack courier uh, service under the frenet shipping and uh, we'll tap here on the next button thereafter and now we'll be choosing our payment method and then we'll be placing the order itself and here we have the order summary for all of the products that are going to be uh, ordered from Brazil and uh, here we'll choose our payment method and we'll tap here on the place order button all right the order has been placed now let's uh, check the details of the order and let's see the uh, shipping method that I've chosen for getting the products delivered and uh, here we can scroll down and under the shipping method we can see that uh, for the frenet shipping we have used the uh, shipping carrier that's the pack so that's how the customers can easily place the orders uh, using the uh, using the uh, their preferred shipping uh, uh, or the uh, carrier service as required now uh, let's go to the admin backend panel let's see what initial configurations are there for this particular frenet marketplace plugin and then we'll see the uh, vendors and as well how they can set up uh, the uh, frenet shipping so before we uh, navigate to the back end uh, we can also do it uh, right now for the sellers so on the left hand side you can see uh, as a customer is also um, uh, also a seller on the left hand side here you can see the marketplace dashboard right now and uh, under that uh, you can see that we have this option for configuring the frenet so if i tap on the uh, frenet configuration it brings up the section where we can configure the uh, frenet itself so basically you'll have to have uh, an account at frenet so uh, I've attached one user guide uh, in the description below and that has all the details for the uh, cre uh, creation of the frenet account and how to get the credentials that would be uh, required here so uh, the uh, vendor just needs to enter his username and password uh, for the uh, frenet itself so uh, from here you can basically configure the carriers for which you want to obtain the freight uh, codes and uh, then you can obtain a username and a password for the same and then you can register shipping rules access and uh, then you can access the administrative uh, panel of the frenet as well where you'll be able to choose the carriers that you want to enable uh, for your account within your uh, for your own uh, products there so uh, let me take you to the user guide first and uh, within the user guide you can navigate to the uh, option that's uh, this uh, heading how to get the fed, uh, frenet credentials so you'll register at the frenet and after you've registered you log into your account after logging into your account you can go to register and register data and uh, after filling all the details you'll get your access key password and the token and under the carriers you'll be able to activate the carriers uh, there so according to your choice uh, the user will click on the uh, auto activation of the carriers that he wants to enable and uh, then basically uh, the user would also be able to calculate the shipping charges and uh, for this uh, the vendor just needs to click on the freight simulator that you can see here it's a uh, freight calculator and manage freight and here you can uh, basically enter the uh, data uh, so as to calculate the shipping according to your, your shipping service settings rules and the uh, shipping restrictions also you can check the frenet pricing and uh, the frenet uh, pricing includes a cost list as per the type of service they provide thus uh, you can uh, basically verify that on the frenet plans and uh, now let's go back to the uh, uh, web store front end so accordingly the seller can then enter his username and password and tap here on the save button so if I tap here on the save button so we have saved the uh, frenet uh, details like the uh, that are the username and the password for the frenet vendor account now the vendor needs to uh, set up the 
shipping uh, uh, setting so for that the uh, seller will go to the shipping setting option here under the marketplace block just above the friend configuration and here the seller will set up his origin address that is uh, used for calculating the uh, price of the shipment from uh, the origin of the uh, store to the uh, customer's address so you'll set up your company name your phone number your street address city state province your zip code and your country so you can choose the country as uh, Brazil because it works for the Brazilian uh, postal codes only and thereafter you just need to tap here on the save uh, button to save your configuration and now the vendor is ready to provide this uh, friend uh, shipping method wherein there are multiple carriers that can be enabled by the uh, vendors and those would then be available to the customers at the storefront uh, to choose now let's go to the admin backend panel and let's see what different configurations are there so i'll be logging to my admin account by entering my username password for my emergency to multi vendor marketplace by web pool and uh, after logging in we'll be navigating to the configuration page and uh, i've just logged into my admin backend panel for my imagine to do based multi vendor marketplace by web call. and here we will navigate to stores and then configuration and in the meantime let me take you to the vendor dashboard once again and let's check the order that we just placed as a customer and here under the order history uh here's the order that we've ordered with five products headphone t-shirt red t-shirt and the gray woman t-shirt so uh, the vendor can also with the order details to check the uh, selected carrier service that the customer has selected so here we can see the selected uh, shipping method so here we can see that the shipping method that selected was uh, frenet shipping uh, and uh, the carrier that was used was uh, PAC so from here the uh, sellers can also add the tracking number after they have uh, calculated the shipping and uh, they have sent out the uh, packet to the courier service and they'll get the tracking number that can be then put here and then can be sent out to the customers so now let's go to the back uh, to the configuration that we were talking about uh, for the plugin itself so under here on the configuration page we'll just navigate to uh, uh, sales and uh, under that we'll be going to the shipping uh, methods and uh, and here uh, we'll just navigate to our uh, marketplace freight freight shipping uh, method and uh, here as well uh, the uh, store admin needs to have his username and password and he needs to have his access key password token and the rest of the details so he can get them by logging into his administrative panel for the frenet after registering at the frenet itself so this link can take you to the administrative panel if you have an account otherwise you can create an account first and then get your details and then you can set up the configuration here so uh, you can enable this uh, frenet uh, thing by choosing a yes for this option and under the administri administrative panel for the frenet you can also uh, choose the carriers that you want to provide to your customers thereafter you can set up the uh, title that is visible to the customers so uh, for example when we place the order uh, we were able to see the friend at shipping and before that it was the carrier name after that it was the carrier name so you can set this up according to your own requirement there the title enter the access key password token you can also set up the uh, default dimensions that can be used uh, for the uh, products uh, while uh, the vendors have not uh, edited their uh, standard height width or the length for the products and uh, the admin can also set up the weight format to use as uh, kilos or uh, kilograms or grams and uh, the admin can also choose to enable the uh, default dimensions otherwise if you don't want to use them then you can choose no so basically if there are no dimensions set for a product then these particular dimensions would be applied for that then uh, the admin can set up the error message that would be displayed uh, when the shipping method is not available at the checkout and uh, the admin can choose uh, to ship to applicable applicable countries if uh, he wants so he can choose the country for like specific countries or all allowed countries but for this plugin it, all, it only works for the brazilian postcode so uh, uh, it works there only 
after that uh, the admin can choose uh, whether the seller can manage the printed details so uh, whether the seller could set up his uh, printed details under his own account for his products to provide the friendly shipping method to the customers so to enable that choose a yes and uh, if you want to display the method if it's not applicable you can choose a no and you can also set up the debug uh, file for this uh, particular plugin so that was how we can uh, configure it uh, from the backend panel uh, the initial configuration settings for the image into multi window marketplace for net shipping plugin now let's uh, set up the uh, admins uh, shipping settings that's the origin for the uh, marketplace admin itself similarly like uh, the uh, vendor also uh, we did for, uh, set up the uh, origin for his uh, store so we'll do it same for the admin as well so here we'll set up the origin uh, for the uh, web store owner and we can also set up the uh, shipping policy parameters whether you want to apply the custom shipping policy or not so to apply you can choose a yes otherwise choose a no for that so I'll choose the country as Brazil uh, we'll be choosing the uh, state uh, and we'll be setting up the uh, zip code city city for that and the street address there and then after we'll just tap here on the save configuration button to save the admin's uh, store address so that the uh, while calculating the freight charges for the uh, products uh, the origin address would be required and the customers would also be required there so this was the shipping setting for the admin so uh, that was much about the machine to multi window marketplace uh, friend shipping plugin and I hope it helped you out for a clearer uh, vision you can also uh, check the user guide and the live demo that I've attached within the description below and if you still have any questions queries suggestions or uh, any requirements then please do get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise the ticket at webcool.uedes.com thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day